Morning folks, how are we doing? So we're back here again with Amberlynn. It says, how my GI scan went, psych appointment update, and Titanic Lego vlog. I'm kind of happy that the, the Lego's back, but like, didn't this like, Titanic Lego start like three months ago? <laughs> I don't know, I mean, she, she clearly is somebody gets distracted a lot because she's shown like four or five other projects she's built during the time. Like, I can't do that. Uh, this is like a weird time. I can't do that because if I ever do like a Lego or something like that, or like, build little models and stuff, because I do build wee models and all, because unfortunately, yes, I am a nerd. Um, I, I, I can't, like, start something and then go do something else and get back to it, because I've lost my place, I've lost the flow and the momentum, so I just kind of have to work through one thing entirely before moving on to the next bit, because I always lose my place. I'll, I'll lose pieces, I'll drop stuff somewhere, and I'll be like, I don't know where that is, I, well, I was losing the box somewhere. So, yeah, that's there you go, that's my, my, my random side tangent for, for today's episode. Let's just get into this here. Hello, hello. Welcome to hello. a new vlog. I have been really bad with intros and outros. You have been. You have been. So <laughs> She's definitely watched my video where I'm always criticizing that it just goes like, well, <laughs> it just ends. And I'm always like darting across to try and click it before it just goes on to some random other video so I can get my final thoughts on it. So, um, Amber, thank you for listening to the community because I think she did come out and say that she started reading the comments and all again. I'm sure people have commented that criticism to her, but... um. To me, it kind of hints that she is actually she's actually out there watching community. Um, people from the community are uh, our kind of videos. Not me in particular, like because I'm I'm an absolute nobody, like. But like I, like, I think it's old Lordy, it's Jordy, and I think Zachary and Michael both pointed out this as well. I work on that. I hope that you guys are having a good day, and I hope that you guys. I enjoy actually this am. Video. I actually am. Okay, so we have a oh grocery my. haul. <laughs> I'm done, guys. I'm done. I'm retiring. Um. <laughs> I just, I'm, I'm retiring, guys. I just I can't anymore. This is like three. This is three videos in a row where I've had a grocery haul. <laughs> like, hi, hi. You, you eat more than a full family put together. Jesus. Um, we are shopping for groceries two times a week, and it's working out. Two times a week. <laughs> I, I, I don't, firstly, I don't believe you. Secondly, I'm sorry, the amount of stuff you buy, there is no reason why you need to buy buy stuff two times a week with the sheer amount of stuff you get for every grocery haul. So this is a little bit of a, a splurge, if you will. <laughs> um, I really love scalloped potatoes. So I am going to have just like a serving of this with some protein and veggies. It is honestly so good. I recommend this, you guys. Ugh, great comfort food. You're gonna have a portion of that. Sorry, I gotta I'm not showing the rest because it's just the usual shite she buys. But um, you get a portion of that. I hope that only means like half of that. That's that's a that's a big boy. That's a that's a big boy helping there. We got some. There is so much. It never. Well, we're back to the string cheese again. My my personal favorite. <laughs> that's for, that's for her crippling string cheese addiction. <laughs> Beat this discomfort. There is so much. It never ends. Mozzarella string cheese. Some shredded Mexican style blend, which is my favorite. We got some brie, some salami, cottage cheese. Oh my god, it never cheese, ends. Which grapefruit, which I've never had a grapefruit before, so I might have to try it with you guys. Some grapes, some um, pineapple here. Oh, she makes it up this time. She got cored pineapple. <laughs> well, it never ends. This is just it, it's been two minutes straight off just food and it's like this is like this is to do her three days apples a little tiny watermelon hey you watch my you watch my video admit it you watch my video okay i complained that you didn't uh, watermelon is easy to cut <laughs> oh there's a full pineapple guys there's a full pineapple i'm so excited we're gonna get to see like someone cutting a pineapple well why do you get a cord as well broccoli and also some fresh pineapple so now i'm gonna put amber I know you're watching my, my content because I'm the only one who's like this ridiculous so I talking about your pineapple in every episode so far. I know you're watching. Comment down below if you are. Um, I'll pin it. I'll, I'll, we'll show you love. We actually, we love you here in uh, the, the girl world Ireland verse. This all away. That's for three days. Hello, hello. Hi, hi. So I'm actually getting ready for the day. Today, I am actually filming my weigh-in because it was my weigh-in day today. I'm going to do my makeup first. What? I was wondering why she's wearing the same clothes. So this is like oh, really old footage now, I guess. Because this is four days old. Like, because Sunday, you know? So this is like four days old. That's just kind of 
kind of kind of weird that she like didn't include this in her way and i was like i'm gonna i'm gonna section off this other part of the video just include it into a random vlog later on instead of having it all neat and together so uh last night slash yesterday evening whatever um we went to the theaters and saw megan i've been wanting to see it so bad and so has feline um her and i both have a movie theater fear and it's really weird because i mentioned it to her first and i was like embarrassed to like tell her I was, like because it's a weird fear i have had this fear for probably a decade now um it has stopped me from going to the movie theater a lot but it hasn't stopped me from going period I'm, until i'm not even sure if i'm going to include any of this because like I, this is the one time i wish i had like a face cam because i'm just staring in like disbelief like what what is this you, you, you're scared of movie theaters suddenly. Uh, <laughs> like, <laughs> what? <laughs> like, where is where is this coming from? And uh, I, where is this going? Where is this going? This is this is already this already feels like it's going to be silly. I'm not sure if she's going to tie it with her her nightmares about m the mass murderers that she had last episode. Recently, um, the last few years, I haven't gone to the theater, but maybe once or twice. I'm going to say twice. Uh, because so of COVID? I'm just trying to live out of my comfort zone a little bit here, but um, the fear has gotten worse. For some reason, when I'm in the theater, I feel like someone's going to come in and, like, unalive me. I don't know. Oh my God, I was right. I knew she was going to try and take it there. This is, like, so silly. Oh. Oh, that's so silly. I'm, I'm scared of movie theaters because I think someone's going to come in and kill us. What are you, what are you doing? Oh, God, she's... She's, this, she's really, apart from dumb, like, that just feels exploitative when last episode she was talking about, like, like, oh, I'm having nightmares because of this mass murder. I'm not sure if you guys are following this mass murderer guy, but, oh, I'm having nightmares about him. And it's like, you have to just make everything about you. I mean, are you going to mention the Batman shooting, I'm assuming? What it is, but I told Feline about it. Oh, and silly. She was like, oh, my God, I've never met anyone else with that fear. Wow, it's, it's almost like it's not real at all. Like, it's like you, you, both of you, luckily, are the only people in the world who have a crippling fear of movie theaters because you think there's going to be a mass shooting. Like, this is this is dumb. This is dumb, isn't it, guys? Like, we you can all kind of just like smile and nod and agree with each other that this is this is just really dumb and really weird and it just seems to be it's just her having to do her thing where she has to have a story about everything everything has to be quirky everything has to be interesting she can't just be like i went to see a movie last night guys and i enjoyed it it has to be like guys i had to see a movie last night and the problem is i had to overcome all these fears because of this and because of this and then oh my god it happened my the love of my life my girlfriend also happened and we discussed this and we're suddenly sitting down together and we're just like, can you not just say i went and saw a movie and it was, it was okay six out of ten could you, could you not ever just have a story be that instead of the 17 layers of bullshit you just normally put on top of it? It would make your stories actually somehow more interesting. So I have a weird thing about, oh my god, I can't even say it. Clusters of things. Ew. I'm sorry, baby. What? Like, oh, I'm getting the goosebumps now. People don't understand it unless you understand it. I don't know um, what you're talking about. Like holes, clusters of like dots. <sighs> Wasn't that trichophobia? Isn't that like a fairly common phobia? And now, now you're acting. See, it's so weird that she talked about the the. the I'm scared of movie theaters because of mass shootings. Randomly, she talked about that like very openly and all. But with this one, she's like being like weirdly coy about it. And this is like a a fairly standard phobia. Like, isn't it? Trichophobia or trichotelophobia, something like something like that. I, I don't remember off the top of my head, but like one of my old girlfriends had that. It's like I, it's that's a fairly common one. People don't like it because it looks weird. I like shake. I don't know why. I think it's because last night I was on TikTok. God, ugh. TikTok ruined my night. Uh, uh, what doesn't? A little bit before bed because I was just scrolling, having the time of my life. Where are the backs of my earrings? You know what? We're not gonna worry about that right now. So I was scrolling. Oh. Ooh, and there was something I saw in there that sent me into a spiral. I don't really know what it is, but like I've never met anyone else who felt this way. This one for me started in high school. Um, I remember I was in biology class. You've n never like this is it's just like a really common this is a really common one. So much so that I, I like, like I said I don't remember it perfectly off the top of my head, but I more, more or less remember. It. But like it, it's stunning. It makes a lot of people squeamish. Like why are you, why are you trying to act like this is this is like the super super obscure one. <laughs> like when your other one was. I'm scared of movie theaters because mass shootings. And we're just like doing our work in the textbook. I flipped the page. Oh, 
and there was this leg on there that just, ew. I literally had to leave the classroom and I couldn't, like, I felt like I was on a puke. I didn't understand what was wrong. Um, yeah. You, you didn't understand being scared of something? That does like what? Why? Like this is what I said about the seventeen layers of bullshit. Why does everything have to be like a bullshit magical over the top story? Like, I was like, I was like falling, I was dying. I was like, oh my god, I don't even know what's happening. Why? Why? Why am I feeling like this? It's like it's it's, it's called a phobia. It's a fear. It's it's like like I'm scared of heights, you know. So if I look over like. Uh, like the I don't know the, like the seventh store the story and I look over the you know the the staircase going down I look all the way to the bottom I'm like whoa there we go I'm dying you know that's just how I feel because it's a phobia and she's just like oh yeah I was like seventeen and I was like well guys what's a phobia it's like your stories just sound silly when you add all this extra stuff to it this is just it's kind of lame really you're you're, you're being you're being kind of lame here I ended up going home. <laughs> I was a little dramatic. I'm not going to lie. Um, I ended yeah. up saying I need to go home. Imagine admitting that you were a very dr dramatic, like, teenager, but n not knowing what a phobia was or, like, what reacting to a fear is. But you're fully happy to admit that you're a very dramatic teenager that had to go home from school because of stuff like this. And it's like, oh, but I didn't even know what was happening. That is dumb. Like, this is dumb. You're, you're ruining your own story here. Home because I, don't, I didn't know what type of reaction I was having, but... Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. I don't know, but, like, cl ugh, I'm, like, starting to get itchy and I have goosebumps. If you know, you know. That's all. So, I told Felina about it, and she was like, oh, my God, I have that same thing. So it was just Oh, my God! Like, oh, my God! This is so magic! You, you guys, you're, you're destined to be together. You're basically soulmates because you share a similar sphere. Oh, my God, guys! Baby! <laughs> so dumb. This is so dumb. I don't like. I was gonna say if you're like, if this is something that actually freaks you out, why are you talking about this and giving yourself a reaction to it? But like, I don't even know if I buy it anymore because I fake she's being. You have like the same little fears, but anyways, whatever. We went and saw Megan. Wow, I'm. I'm... Wow, I'm, I'm so glad it took um, three minutes of absolute nonsense uh, to get to your original starting point again. Um, that you went to see a movie. Cool. Rambling. And she gave it a 9 out of 10. And I honestly think I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10 only because I was able to sit there through the whole movie and not once feel distracted. Um, I had, of course, my little anxiety. Um, I call it anxiety to... Okay, I feel like I'm rambling. Let's ramble. Why not? Let's <laughs> we're not. We're here to hear me talk. So I said anxiety um, in one of my vlogs. And someone was like, oh my god, like why are you making fun of people with anxiety? I have panic disorder. Um, I suffer with really bad anxiety and I have really bad social anxiety like it's getting worse I'm very much an introvert I feel like maybe it's just me but I like like I, I've had social anxiety before when I was younger like maybe it's just me but like a, a cinema in particular never sets off like my social anxiety because like I'm, I'm sitting in the dark like in silence watching something it's not like you're interacting with, it's not like you're interacting with people it's not like you're forced to talk to people it's not like you're sitting there holding the person next to his hand or anything like that like you're sitting there quietly watching a movie, you know. I I, I don't get. I, everyone's anxiety is their their own, obviously, but this just feels like she really had nothing for this vlog, because like ha, basically half of this vlog is her her weight loss is from her weight loss day, uh, her her weigh in day. Sorry, and it just feels like she's just trying trying to pad this out because she really just had nothing for this new vlog. Like, um. It, it depends. During Vlogmas, I was fine in public, like totally fine. But there was a phase of time before that where did you go out during like, Vlogmas? I was in public, and I needed Feline or whoever I was with to know, like, I'm having a little bit of anxiety. I don't want to just like. I, I'm sorry. I don't. I, I don't like just saying I don't believe you about your anxiety, but I don't. I've I've seen plenty of footage of you being like loud and obnoxious in public, getting lots of attention. Constantly walking around filming yourself whilst you're in public, whilst loudly talking about your random shit, you know, like wheeling around in a scooter in Walmart, filming yourself doing it, screaming and shouting and being an idiot, walking up and banging windows and stuff like that when Becky's sitting inside restaurants, being like, I just, I, just, I, just, I need, I need someone near me when I'm in public, because you know, it's just, I'm so anxious when I'm in public. It's just like. Not, not nothing that I've ever seen has ever 
Did you did you hear me overreacting and come in and check on me? She heard me overreacting. <laughs> she came in and checked on me. Hello. You gonna talk? You gonna talk today? No, she's gonna let me. Okay, hello you. Good, good girl. Brr. Yeah, sorry, she heard me hyperventilating. She ran in my she's my emotional support dog, clearly. <laughs> hey, you, you good girl? Yeah? Yeah? No. Nah, yeah? You gonna say hello? You gonna say hello? Yeah, there you go. There you go. People came here to listen to you instead of me. <laughs> um, I so yeah. Sorry, I, I I just I don't buy it. It just it it doesn't add up to anything I've seen of her before. I think it's ridiculous. It feels like this is her trying to explain away pretty much because everyone's criticized her. It's like it has been forty days since Amberlynn has left her house. That kind of malarkey, and now she's she's being like, oh my god, guys, you don't understand. My anxiety has peaked. Um, you know, just suddenly because, uh, you know, and I'm like, I've never been able to go out uh, outside my house before, you know, whatever that nonsense is. You girl? Hey, y'all, I'm having anxiety. Like, that's embarrassing. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to say anxiety. The people around me know exactly what that means. And that's what matters. So I don't want to say anxiety because it's embarrassing. So I say anxiety. What? Do you get that? Do you get that? Hey, princess, do you get that? No? No, she does. She's she doesn't get that either. She doesn't get and she's a uh, she she's she's the least anxious out of the two of us here. She's the she's the she's the natural <laughs> while I was talking to people. Like a code word, if you will. Yeah. And so I said that and someone got offended by it. Like I didn't mean to offend you, like trust me, we're both suffering. But yeah, I gave it Megan ten out of ten. I feel like I'm rambling. I don't really know what that's about, but <laughs> might be a bad thing for my Hey guys, welcome to week six of my weigh-ins. Nope. If you want to see my weigh-in, you can watch the last video I uploaded. Trust me, it's worth it. I I, I massively disagree with that. Um, <laughs> like, what is this vlog? It's like three minutes. Sorry, two and a half minutes of grocery unpacking because there's so many groceries. Uh, nonsense. Nonsense for however many minutes here. And then... Three minutes or so of um, book review, and uh, my favorite bit is at the end. Like I, I, I'm probably not going to show it because the whole thing is just boring. But at the end, she goes like, "Oh, people keep saying I'm not very good at like talking about books, but I do that intentionally, guys. I do it intentionally." And it's just like uh, she, she, she seems to think people think she's not very good at talking about books because she doesn't give like a lot of the story because she says she doesn't want to give out spoilers. But it's like no, it's just because you're because you're bad at giving out information on books because your your entire thing is. It's Boring, guys, it's bore, bore, I was bored by how boring it was, because it bored me, that's, that's your, your entire review of stuff, like, you have, you have no idea how to convey your thoughts, which I, I'm not 100% amazing at either, like, I understand that, like, but, like, you're trying to do, like, weekly book reviews, and your reviews often, like, I'd say, uh, uh, three, I don't know, it's boring, and that's, that's it. <laughs> Hopefully we pick up hey guys, my... is the next day. I'm Let's go. Five minutes left. Less than three hours of sleep. I don't care. Um, it is currently 6.16 a.m. I'm so tired. So oh, there's no. several tests that you have to get done um, before you get weight loss surgery. And so I just realized that we have gone... Why did I say there's only five minutes left? Am I thick? I might be thick. I don't even know what I was looking at to think there's only five minutes left. <sighs> Guys, I'm losing it. <laughs> but we're 12 minutes into a 21 minute video, and we haven't got to any part of the title yet the GI scan, the psych appointment, or the Titanic at Lego. Today is one of those tests. I'm actually going to go to this place where I have to drink this stuff and I have to get my a hospital? GI scanned. A, a clinic? Right here. A pl this place. I'm looking forward to it. Um, I've been fasting for it, and I can't remember if I'm allowed to have water or not. So um, I did Google. And it said you can have a little bit of water. So I've had some water, but I'm feeling a little nauseous from lack of sleep. And I think I'm pretty hungry. So I don't like getting super hungry because then like sometimes it could be triggering to oh get this God. level of hungry because then I overeat. But it's like I have willpower now. I'm not like going <laughs> to overeat or anything. But I'm just like I have willpower now. Guys, I have willpower now. It's like, bro, like what? I don't want to be mean. I, I say I feel like I say this a lot, but like I feel like I'm somewhat of a mean person. What, <laughs> like, what isn't triggering for you at this point? You know, it's like oh, having too much food is triggering. Having too little food is triggering. Having food too often is triggering. Thinking about food too much is triggering. Food existing is triggering. It's just like, 
what isn't really like triggering for you? It just it just feels like that's that's your 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 claim for every minor inconvenience in your life is that it's just triggering you. As such, it's somehow not your fault. I'm like excited to have my breakfast. Um, but anyways, we are about to leave. I'm gonna go put on my shoes. I'm already ready, but I'm so freaking tired and I'm just like excited to get this done. I'm gonna leave my camera here. I have not been vlogging anytime that I go out. It's just not really my thing thing right now. <laughs> Why? Why? So this that's the kind of time when you would explain something, being like, oh yeah, you know, I'm not really feeling it. Uh, I'm very self-conscious of my appearance, so I'm not, whatever. It just feels like that's the time to explain it, not during your 72-hour rant about like shootings in like, Megan or something like that. It just it just feels a wee bit weird to me, but okay, cool, hundred um, percent. Yeah, it also it also kind of just leads cred leads credence to the whole idea that this probably isn't actually real anymore. Um, I've been focusing a lot of my content on my weight loss because I feel like no, you've been focusing a lot of your content on low effort, sitting in place and mumbling about stuff. I, that's let's all be honest with ourselves because you're focusing on your weight loss. There'll be a lot more talking about what meals you're having, what your plans are, how many steps you're taking, what exercise you're trying to do, all that stuff. There's none, none of that stuff. It is generally you just sitting there ranting at the camera or, or talking about how you're so amazing, but also such a victim at the same time. Like just the, don't, don't try and pretend your content is slightly different because it's so weight loss focused when you don't even tell us like what food you're having 90% of the time. Be me very, very accountable and I love that. But if I do want to film something, I got my phone. I just don't want to carry this big bulky thing around. Now I'm filming on my phone. Is that a big bulky on. thing? This is my camera. That's what I always use, but I don't feel like um, carrying that in public. And by the way, this book, I'm obsessed. I read more before I went to sleep last night. Now I'm on page. I couldn't even, couldn't even pretend to say her. For the car ride, because it's about 30 minutes away. So I figured I'd do a little reading. We got these seat warmers on because we are not playing today, folks. It is freezing out. Okay, you guys, I'm so tired. I'm so glad, uh, I'm just, so glad you included that like two, two, two nanoseconds in, in your video. <laughs> We're just like, oh, just so you know, it's like, oh, I have a seat warmer. It's like, okay, cool. Um, I'm having to fill out like this whole thing right now. I'm having to answer how many drinks containing alcohol do you have on a typical day when you are drinking? I don't drink. Hell yeah. How often do you have six or more what? drinks on one occasion? Never. So it's. Why are you reading out these the weird questions that are specifically like you, you, this questionnaire probably has like dozens, if not like hundreds of questions. Why are you just reading out like the two that are related to alcohol? It's just, I don't know, it's, it's kind of weird. Like to gloat that you're not an alcoholic or something? I have no, I, I that was weird to me. Is this because people like laugh at her because of the, the drunk Amber stuff that always like cropped up? I, I don't, that was weird. I'm not going to show anything about the GI scan because it, it, it was nothing. It was her going, like, I went there and I, I, I talked to them and they said to drink this. So I drank that and then I, I they told me I wanted to do this and I said I was doing this and then they told me to dr drink a, a thing and then I drank a thing and then I was going to I was going to throw up guys and they were running around trying to find a bag for me to throw up into but oh, I, I, I'm a willpower and I sold. I was like, okay. And uh, they, we, th th that was it. It was just her describing, like trying not to burp and stuff like that. It was, uh, yeah. It was not even close to being interesting because you didn't tell us anything to do with it. It's supposed to take 45 minutes and then I have to do a... So this is the psychological... Yeah, this is pre-surgical psychological assessment. And then I have to do pre-surgical bariatric questionnaire. So I'm about to do those. Um, they both take about 45 minutes each. Uh -huh. So that's going to be a little bit of time that I'm going to be doing here. Oh no, um, an hour and a half. Questions. I'm actually really excited. Out of your busy day. Um, that I have an appointment for that. Like that's been the, that's gonna be the thing that's like the main. Like obviously I want weight loss surgery like this, like now, like give it to me now. <laughs> but that's not realistic. Did she superimpose a snap sound effect? You know it's in. Like obviously I want weight loss surgery like this, like now, like give it to me now. <laughs> I guess not. I don't. Know, I just I, I have no idea why. Like I just assumed she'd like superimpose a snap sound effect over that because I'm I'm so uninterested in everything else she's saying because it's like okay you've got like. You've you've got an appointment. Where like this is like no further on from like two months ago when you started talking about that. It's like you have an appointment. It's like okay, cool. You know, um, I have to answer questionnaire. It's just like okay, well, I'm sorry, but I'm a very jaded person. I put no no real like it's like when she did the um, 
the what type of personality on my questionnaire. I, I think I covered that on my main channel. Um, I, I, in no way do I think like people answer those questionnaires correctly. So uh, until you actually sit down and have a long discussion with someone, um, like yeah, you don't know anything. And even then, at the same time. Uh, if I'm being really honest, guys, I, a lot of time with people who are narcissistic or manipulative or whatever, I don't even put a lot of weight into them going to therapy and stuff because uh, they they know what to say <laughs> to the therapist to try and make it seem like they are worse than they are, to try and p paint a picture of themselves that they want to have painted. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I, I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just not as overly excited about this as I, as I would be for, like, the weight loss element of it, like her, her therapy and psychological stuff. It's like, I don't see that really ever improving unless like she tries to be less manipulative and narcissistic and then and she if she never really shows me anything and shows that she's changing that you know be like instead of her doing like a specialist eating disorder person the bariatric surgery I, I it would be better for something like who's a bit more specialized in like narcissism and manipulation you know and try to deprogram her for that but that's not realistic you know it's easy to go get my labs done it's easy to go get my um heart checked it's easy to go get all these appointments and all that but the nitty-gritty is working up here and that's the important yep part. so but probably not the way you mean it Finally. oh my god i'm so excited <laughs> mariah carey decided not to pay me a visit today <laughs> let me try again <laughs> bye okay oh. so tonight for dinner i was like painfully unfunny i was uh that was an experience Chicken wings look, look very nice, though. There's not really a lot of meat on them at all. Um, but yeah, they, they look nice enough. So this is my Titanic box, my second box. Oh, my God. It comes with three. I, I, I'm going to be honest, because it's like Rarity and Wasabi. Yeah. Uh, I'm pr pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I'm suddenly blanking on their names. What? She just showed up. Oh, my, my cats just showed up as well. They all they, they all know the cats are on screen here. They're all, they've all suddenly showed up. Hey, you. <laughs> um, this is the first time I've ever seen this cat, which I think is uh, Wasabi. Uh, it is the first time I have ever seen this cat in all my time watching her content. Um, like, <laughs> I honestly think it's the first time I've ever seen that cat. Oh, this is, it's, I don't know, it's kind of, it's kind of, it's mind-blowing here. Because my Lego Titanic is massive, and I just finished the second box. Well, I'm almost done with it. I've Why is it just a scale just chilling right there? <laughs> Why is it just chilling out there, like by itself, just in the middle of the floor? <laughs> Left, but Rarity and Wasabi said, "You know what? This box is mine now." Does she? Okay, guys, fill me in, because I know best of pieces. I've seen people joking about Wasabi all the time, wanting to see more Wasabi and stuff like that. Um, does she hate Wasabi? Like straight up, does she hate Wasabi? Because listen to how she says the names here. One bag left, but Rarity and Wasabi said, "You know." But Rarity and Wasabi. Rarity and Wasabi. <laughs> Does she hate Wasabi? Oh, I feel sorry for Wasabi. She like puts no respect on his name. If if Wasabi is a he, um, like because they, they're both cute. I like I, I have to admit, I I like fluffy. Even though my cats are short hairs, I do like big old fluff balls. Um, but it's just like, come on, bro. That's that's real. That's real. You're dis you're disrespecting him. You're disrespecting Wasabi. What? This box is mine now. Poor Wasabi. Look he just, how beautiful they are. He just sits there so like, oh. I wanted to give you guys an update on oh, the Titanic. There we go. This is quite good. While, but this is how much I have done. It's a lot. Um, I'm on the last book. It comes with three. And, yeah, like, it's amazing. Uh, Celine just took a picture of it. She's going to send to somebody. <laughs> She's proud of my work. <laughs> this is... Yeah, I think it looks so good. So... Look. Everyone should have their hobbies. I've got ridiculous hobbies. Um, where are you going to put that? That's huge. That's a big old girl. Like, I, I didn't think it was going to be that big. Like, where are you going to put that? <laughs> Is it going to share the queen size bed with you? Like, it's, it's only a place big enough for it. I'm on 29, and there's 47 steps, and I'm on the 29th one. That just makes it sound like you're nowhere near finished. But I, maybe, the small, maybe the later bags are only have a couple pieces in them, like, you know, for, like, the decoration -y stuff. Hi guys, so I am filming an outro. Oh my god, she's doing an outro. She stops abruptly. Um, I hope that you guys You've been watching my this video, You've been watching my videos. And I hope that you guys are feeling as good as I am. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. I'm feeling pretty good, Amber. Thank you very much. Uh, that was a <laughs> That was a weird video. That was a weird video. Like I said, it's like three minutes at the start for a grocery unpacking. 
however many minutes of just nonsense stories about how she's scared of going to see Megan in theatre because she's scared of getting shot. Uh, uh, but then somehow tries that into having a fear of like, trichophobia, the, 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 the uh, uneven pattern hole thing. And then just into like talking, uh, it was weird guys. But it was it was it was fun. It was more fun than the rest of her videos have been because like her, generally her videos are like very condescending, very talking down to everyone, using all her new buzzwords that she like learned via I don't know watching a web seminar about, about weight loss surgery, all that ridiculous stuff. Um, but yeah, guys, it's it's nuts. Uh, I do want to quickly thank everyone, though, for watching. I, I want to thank you all, because we've, we've shot up, I think, I don't know, I think we hit, like, 400 subscribers or something like that, super quick. So, thank you all for subscribing, watching, all that malarkey. It is so weird comparing this to my main channel, because on my main channel, I have, like, obviously, like a 90% a, a uh, male demographic, like, a 90% male demographic. I think I have, like, 84% <laughs> female demographic here, so I've got, like, two vastly different audiences, which is, which is quite funny to see. Um, uh, but thank you all so much for watching, liking, subscribing. Share it around as anyone you think you would like this in the girl world. Girl verse, sorry. I'm the, I'm the girl world. It's the girl verse I'm part of. <laughs> um, but yeah, I also want to thank my Patreons for supporting my show. As uh, Frank, as Wank, Haley, Samuel P. I'm just saying an absolute mouse. Thank you so much for donating and subscribing. All that malarkey. I don't, I, I don't know. Part of me was like, maybe if we hit like 500 subscribers, I might do like a, a live stream or something like that. Like on this channel, but I usually do my live streams on my main channel, which is just talking about random stuff. Um, I don't, I, I don't know if there's anything you guys can think that you'd like me to do in a live stream. Um, anything particularly you want me to watch and react to in a live stream? Uh, maybe let let me know, give me a shout, and we'll we'll go from there. But yes, guys, thank you very much for watching. Have a good one. Bye bye.